Yay! Hi, Louise here from Louise Ellen Nutrition. I hope you're having a great week so far. This is take two. <laughs> um, Facebook seems to have done some weird thing with how they do live, so I couldn't work out how to run it. And I'm like, no, I need to talk to you guys. I have something to share. So I've worked it out, which is good. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I can't believe we're in March already. Can you believe it? We are well, this is our, we're in the last month of the first quarter. So yeah, it's amazing. And um, I'm also getting married um, in May this year, and then we're going away for a month in June. So it's amazing how, how fast it's coming around. It was like, yeah, a year and a half ago where it was going to happen. And now it's nearly two months away. It's very scary. <laughs> oh, so uh, I hope you are going really well. And today I wanted to share with you um, five simple meal prep tips um, or meal prep ideas for the working week. So um, I made up a whole heap of recipes on um, on the weekend, things that I, uh, I've prepped. And I normally do this regularly and I've just thought, oh, I should share this with you. It's funny, you sometimes do these things and you you don't think to actually um, share them. So I'm trying to find different ways to share what I do in terms of healthy habits to help you as well. So um, in terms of, you know, you've got meal prep and then you've got meal planning. So meal prep is when we're prepping food. So not like making five salads that look exactly the same and having the same snack every day for work type thing um, it is prepping things like soups and stews and quiches and snacks that you can put in the freezer or in the fridge or having um, you know salads pre-done or um, ingredients pre-chopped things like that to make your life during the week super easy and um, meal planning is about planning what you're going to eat for the week ahead so I hope that clarifies <laughs> I know um, there's a lot of um, like oh I don't know about meal prep you know like it's, it's this thing of I'm gonna have to have the same breakfast lunch dinner snack every day for five days you know no <laughs> so the benefits of um, prepping some of your foods is that it saves time um, which is a big one because a lot of us are very time poor, especially first thing in the morning, you know, when you go to get up and you're getting ready and you're like, oh, I have to prep my breakfast, I need to prep my lunch and then my snacks and I was too hard, I was going to buy something. And then we end up off the wagon, which is not where we want to be. So when you prep food, you have more time um, and you don't have to think about it, which is, oh my goodness, to not have that stress to go, what am I going to eat? What do I have to prepare? Oh, I don't know what to eat. Just having this set out for you helps you to just not have to think about it. Um, and also to know that you're feeding your body the right nutrition and that you're eating exactly what you're meant to be eating. So I love that I can just prep my breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks and whatever else that I'm making, especially my dinners and things like that. Um, I don't have to worry about it. I just know that I'm eating the right thing. So you just put in, say, you know, 10 minutes of really thinking about what you're going to make for the week. And then you do some prep on the weekend, which might take an hour or, to, an hour or so, depending on what you're making. And then you're done. So I, I just, I get very excited about it. I love things that are time saving. Um, oh, Joe, married. How exciting. Thank you. <laughs> I, um, I am very excited about it. And, and I feel like a blushing bride at the moment because it's very hot <laughs> in Darwin. Oh, cool. All right. So what I've done is I've got my, um, the five things here and I just wanted to share with you, um, what they look like, but I've taken them out of the freezer. So they're a little bit, um, drippy. So we'll just see how that goes. I'll just give a bit of a run. So, all right. So the first thing is, um, a sesame seed mix. So I love this because you pretty, it's so simple. And my mum gave me this idea actually, and, um, it's mixing together black sesame seeds, if you can find them. They don't exist in Darwin. I don't know why. Can't get hold of them. But anyway, um, when I go to Perth, I smuggle them in. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, we've got black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds. And you pretty much just pan fry it um, so that they go a little bit brown and then add a little bit of sea salt on it as well so they crisp up. And then you um, cool them down and put them in the jar like this. And the best part about this is that you can use it as a snack. So if it's like, say it's dinner time and you're like, oh, I feel a bit peckish or after dinner time as well. This is actually a good after dinner snack. Um, I just thought of that just then. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, 
you can have you know like a tablespoon or two um, to eat it's quite tasty it's quite crunchy um, and then also you can sprinkle this on your um, salads or on your vegetables so yeah or whatever you're having for dinner you can just sprinkle a little bit on there so it's really tasty so this in the fridge will last um, about a week or two so because you pretty much are just you know fr frying up sesame seeds so yeah that's it that's one for you um, <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I had a little bit of a chest thing this week, so I'm a little bit coffee. Um, uh, this one is now it's frozen, but um, it's soup. So um, in this soup is um, it's a vegetable soup, and it has um, uh, what have we got in there? We've got capsicum, um, zucchini, celery, kale, mushrooms, and I think broccoli um, is in there as well. So you pretty much in terms of a recipe, um, you pan fry onion garlic and turmeric this is really good for those um that where you, you might have a bit of cold and flu or you want to boost your immunity or you just want to have something really super nutrient dense for lunch so um you pan fry onion garlic and turmeric if you can get it um in darwin very hard to get anything so <laughs> um especially turmeric gonna um, drive you know uh, off to greenies to find turmeric um and yeah then you add in your um, so you pan fry that, you add in, um, I used six, six cups of hot water and then the vegetable stock to go with that. Uh, and then a four, a 400 grams of a four bean mix, um, a small handful of the macaroni pasta, which is a little bit naughty, but only a little bit, um, and some sea salt. So yeah, pretty much, you know, onion, garlic, turmeric, pan fry it, add in your um, six cups of water and your stock five veggies at a minimum, um, a four bean mix, a small handful of macaroni um, pasta, veggie um, stock and sea salt and voila. And it's a really great um, snack to have in just a cup um, if you're feeling a bit peckish and you just need a bit of nourishment or to have with lunch with, um, you know, you could have a salad, soup and salad, or you could do like um, soup with a whole grain um, piece of bread or something like that. But yeah, so um, I find that's a really good lunch go-to as well. Uh, what else we got? Oh, chicken pieces. So, um, so I've made up some. Um, sorry, <laughs> it's just dripping everywhere as it defrosts. So, um, as you can see, there's some chicken pieces in here. Um, where I've just pretty much um, just got a those little chicken fillets, chopped them up into pieces. Um, pan fried the chicken with um, Cajun and Cajun seasoning and oh, what's it called? Chicken? No, chicken. Um, garlic salt. So yeah, I've used chicken salt on chicken. No, just joking. Um, so yeah, garlic salt and Cajun seasoning. Just a sprinkle of that on there. Pan fry it and then um, yeah, and then stick it in a container and you've got go-to chicken. So um, you can use that in salads. You could use it in um, I don't know, whatever else that you make you chicken with. So, yeah, you can make so many different kinds of salads to, and then have this chicken to go with it. Um, so, I, yeah, I've been um, using that, which is really helpful. Um, I've also been making a really cool salad bowl. So in the salad bowl, um, I put in there quinoa, which I, this is one of my other things that I prep. So quinoa, chicken, um, some blanched asparagus, cucumber, some feta and some what's it called sorry I'm thinking off the cuff at the moment um kombucha not kombucha the sauerkraut yes um yeah and I have that and I mix that up with a bit of olive oil and that's such a delicious salad and so refreshing and because you've got you know the healthy carbs from the quinoa sorry I'm pointing and you can't see what I'm doing this is the quinoa <laughs> um so yeah you've got um protein from the chicken and the quinoa you've got a little bit of carbs from the quinoa plus you've got the veggies um and yeah it's just delicious so yeah so next up is quinoa so what i do um with quinoa this is the um the brown and white one so you can get brown on its own white on its own or mixture from what i understand from what i i think so this is what it looks like just so you can see um 
I know a lot of individuals are not sure how to cook quinoa, which I totally get because it's confusing. Um, well, it looks confusing. But you pretty much put a cup of quinoa in um, boiling water and then add a couple of um, tablespoons of stock just to give it a little bit of taste or leave it plain, um, especially if you're using it for like porridges and things like that. Um, but, yeah, and then you pretty much just stick it in a container. Like So it probably takes about... 20 minutes for it to really get all fluffy and then when you drain it um, you can see it's got like a little tail that comes out of it type thing which might be a little bit creepy but it's delicious <laughs> um, and quinoa is like an ancient grain and um, packed full of nutrition so yeah it's a really good one and high in protein as well yeah um, and that you can have with um, with salads you could make a salad with it See, so um, I've got a quinoa summer salad on my Louise Ellen Nutrition uh, website, and that's really delicious. Um, or you can add it in on top of things. You could have it like you could have a piece of salmon with, you know, like um, some of this quinoa as well, and some perhaps some blanched broccolini or um, asparagus sticks. So there's so many different things that you can use this for. And when you've got it prepped, you don't have to worry about it. You just pretty much um, scoop it out and boom done so yeah i love things that are just so super easy um last one is now I, this is a cut up this is cut up this is a life-changing lot and i've wrapped it in plastic which i know um can't really see it properly um but what i do is i make up a loaf um it's about say this big and this high and then i cut it into pieces and this is two pieces um that i've put wrapping around and frozen so um this is a it's called the life-changing loaf. So um, the life-changing loaf is a recipe from uh, My New Roots. And if you look up life-changing loaf um, on the internet on Google, you'll see the New Roots um, page there. And this uh, bread, oh, my goodness, it contains like almonds and uh, nuts and seeds and uh, uh, chia seeds, flax seeds. Uh, it's got um, oats in it. It's just so nutrient dense and so filling and you literally only need two pieces. So um, as you can see, like it's about the size of your sort of palm in terms of size. Um, and then just so you can see the size of it. So it doesn't look that big, but it's actually quite filling. And I always recommend having um, a little bit of cream cheese, just a little bit, and then smashed avocado with some feta. Um, or you can just have smashed avocado with cracked pepper and sea salt on its own. Or you could have smashed avocado with some feta and some pepitas on there. You could even have like an egg, smash an egg on there. Um, you could even do, uh, what is it? Um, Oh, brain is not functioning today. <laughs> um, let me just have a look. Smoked salmon. Oh, like smoked salmon um, with some sprouts on there. So there's all these different combinations that you can make. And it's so tasty and it's delicious. And um, it's one of those things that is so nutrient dense. And all these things are really good for weight loss and infusing your body with nutrition. So And nutrients. So you have lots of energy and you feel good. Um, which is what we want and what I want for you guys. And it's creating healthy habits too. So um, so that's those five things. So I'd highly recommend um, giving them a try or having a think about what are five things that you could prep on the weekend. Um, there's endless options. It could be protein balls. It could be a quiche. It could be soups or stews or it could be, you know, chop, um, having the basics of a salad ready to go and it'll last a couple of, you know, maybe three days in the fridge of just the basics and then you can add a few different variations to kind of mix it up a bit for dinners and lunches. So, yeah, have a think about it. And, you know, maybe on this weekend you can actually do some prep and put some things in the fridge and freezer and then you'll be like, oh, isn't that good? Like I've just got things that I can grab and go. So I love grab and go. So if you're looking for some direction with your diet in terms of um, what you should be eating to lose those extra kilos, to have more energy or <coughs> excuse me, just to improve your eating habits, um, I offer a free 30-minute um, healthy habit session where we look at where you're at right now, where you want to be and what steps you can put in place to help you get there. So um, if you're wanting some help and some assistance, I'm right here. Um, and this session is no obligation. 
at all. So it's just a cool session to go, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I want to be. And then this is what I need to do to help me get there. So if you would love to book in for a session and would like some help, um, I would love to help you um, putting in place uh, a healthy habits plan for you. So um, above there is a link to where you can book that in. Cool. All right, guys. Well, it's wonderful seeing you guys today. And yeah, if you have any other things that you, if you have some foods that you prep that I haven't mentioned, or you just have some cool ones that you'd love to share, please leave a comment below because it's always good to see what others are doing, you know, um, that makes their life easier. And then those within the group, it gives them ideas as well. So cool. All right. Well, have a great day and I will see you guys next week. Bye.